Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over and swatching as well as lip swatching all of the new lip pencils, lipsticks, and glosses from Juvia's Place. I was sent this beautiful PR package and I can't wait to show you guys what is inside. So let's go ahead and open it up and see. <laughs> There's six different twist up liners seven different glosses and two different finishes, and then 12 matte lipsticks, or velvety matte lipsticks. I'm gonna give you guys the information for one one on each of the products, as well as doing the arm swatches now, and then I am going to have a demo of everything on my lips. So let's go ahead, and I'm gonna start off with the liners. The liners are called the Lux Lip Liners, and like I said, they all twist up and they are ten dollars each these are supposed to seamlessly glide on your lips and be long wearing now i wanted to test that out to see how long wearing they are so i swatched some of them on my hand and at the end of the video i'm going to see if they come off easily or not for the swatches we have sweet nothing described as a soft brown beige so rare a golden muted brown lush a dark rose love me a pinkish brown, cola, a chocolatey brown, and Scorpio, a darkened plum. Then we have the 12 nude velvety matte lipsticks. On the actual boxes that they come in, there are variants in color, so you can kind of see which one is going to be which. And then on the actual component, on the bottom, they all have a different color sticker, which is really nice if you're like me and you put them in those lipstick towers so you can see what color you are grabbing for. The component is this really beautiful, kind of like this soft matte, not quite as grippy as the NARS, but it has that slight little feeling to it, and it's this really pretty ombre from a nude to a pink and then a gold right in the center. There's the J for Juvia's Place on top. The inside is gold, and then the bullet has this really nice shape to it so that you can apply it to the lips and be a little bit more precise. Each lipstick retails for $14, and they are grouped into different color categories. The chocolates, the peaches, and the mauves. The chocolates. We have Lady, a deep brown peachy nude, muted, a cool chocolate brown nude, toffee, a creamy mocha chocolate nude, and cocoa, a deep dark chocolate nude. For the peaches, we have Mademoiselle, a warm peachy nude, In Vogue, a muted peach nude, Libra, a rosy peach nude, and Me, a warm toned peachy pink nude. And lastly, the mauve shades. Chic, a warm-toned soft mauve nude. 2020, a light brown mauve nude. A mauve moment, a mauve rose nude. And cubby, a soft cool-toned pink mauve nude. Last but not least, the glosses. These retail for $13 each, and there's two different formulas. The glass gloss, for this it says that it gives a non-sticky, luscious, high shine finish to the lips. They glide on richly glossy and smoothly while providing long wear. The Lip Reflect Gloss is a smooth, creamy lip gloss that provides an ultra shine and glow to the lips. Again, glides on creamy and smoothly to provide a long-lasting, luscious, lips. The glass gloss formula, it's glass, a clear super high shine, so glazed, a clear with pink shimmer, and it's electric, a clear with gold shimmer. For the lip reflect, we have barely there, a light creamy neutral beige, kiss me, a soft rosy baby pink, sis, a deep peachy beige brown, and caramel rose, a warm tone soft brown. Now let's put on some music and test out some lip products.
What I am currently wearing is So Rare Liner all around the edges. I put on Libra lipstick and then I topped it with Caramel Rose Gloss. And these are in my favorites. I'm quickly gonna tell you which ones are my favorites out of the bunch. Obviously Libra, I'm gonna swatch them on my hand because I have these over here. And then me, there's me. Chic, I really like this color, this pink. Oh, it's so pretty. And then Mademoiselle, I'm gonna put that over here. There we go. Those are my four favorites when it comes to the lipsticks. And then I have two of the glosses that, mm, I love the one that I'm wearing right now, Caramel Rose. This has so much pigmentation to it. Let me see, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. And I just put on a little bit right over top of everything. And then I really like this one, Kiss Me. I'm gonna put that down here. <laughs> this shade right there. And they all smell good. They kind of, okay, so it's not like the typical, it reminds me of something. It's sweet, but not overwhelming. And then the lipsticks, I want to say these have a they smell a lot like the glosses, kind of vanilla, but still it's just like a tad bit sweeter, but again, not too intense. It's not overwhelming. Thoughts on the lipsticks first. I really enjoy the shade range of these. I love all the colors with the exception of one. It's not that I don't like it. It's just that I don't know. This color I don't think is very flattering on me and it is the shade Lady. Like when I swatch it, I really like it, but on my lips, it kind of it ends up having a slight undertone, like a yellowy undertone that I don't really love on myself. But like on my hand, I really like it. It's just not my favorite on me, but I do like the color in of itself. Now the formula is very reminiscent of the Charlotte Tilbury formula, but I think this is just a little bit more creamy. Like it's, it has that velvety, airy type of finish, but I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury ones are slightly more waxy and these are slightly more creamy, but that's the closest thing that I can currently think of this top of my head is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution formula. The component is really, really pretty. I love the ombre effect. I love that the colors are on the bottom of the sticker. It just makes it so much easier. The plastic is a little thin on them, but for the price point, that doesn't bother me. If these were like $25, I'm like, eh, hey, you know, we could do a little bit more with the packaging, but $14, I love this. I love the gold, I love the gradient, and I love the texture of it. The only thing with the packaging is it's a little thin with the, the plastic. But other than that, great formula, and I love the shades. The glosses, on the other hand, I liked every single one of the colors of these on me, but these two just happen to be my favorites from the bunch. These have a good amount of pigmentation to them. Like you could wear a liner and just the gloss and have a really beautiful lip. Now, some people will like this big doe foot and some people won't. I personally, I don't know that I really care. If I had to choose, I would go with something a little bit smaller, but this doesn't bother me. I don't have huge lips and this was easy for me to put on. And I really like the smell. I wish I could, I just cannot pinpoint it. It's there, but I cannot think of it. Anywho, great colors, great formula, not too sticky, good amount of pigmentation. Like these are just, just right, just right. My favorite liners are Sweet Nothing. Here's Sweet Nothing. And then the one that I am currently wearing called So Rare and Lush. These are my three favorites. The liner formula glides on very nicely. Again, it is a twist up. I prefer to have ones that you can just sharpen, but I'm glad that these at least twist up and down. I don't like it whenever you twist up or push up and then it doesn't come back down because I do like to sharpen these. And what I do when I sharpen them is I get just a little bit out and I will take like a piece of paper towel or something and just go right along the edge and it'll make it nice and sharp for me. I like to have that precision of a really nice tip. So I'm glad that these roll up and down for whenever I shave them. But now let's see if they are truly long lasting. Like I said, I've got them on my hand and I have a little piece of paper towel right here that I am gonna see. Let's see. Uh-oh. Okay, so this is not a formula that I would say is long wearing. 
Ah, that stinks. Those came off kind of effortlessly and they were on my hand for a hot minute. So I don't know if these are going to be long wearing. I will test them out and I won't wear gloss with them. I'll just wear the liner and one of the lipsticks. And just kind of see if I have to mess with a liner at all and I'll get back with you. But I'm, I'm not sure about that because it just came off too easily. But anywho, overall, I think this is a beautiful collection. I love the colors. I love the formulas. And I think that they did a really great job. You guys let me know down below which one was your favorite on me and which ones you might be interested in. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you did by giving a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.